right, anybody who's interested in comparing notes, uh, off inspection, iOS X2 Y Prime. I'm not going to really put the scramble up because it was there at the beginning. But I'm going to notice uh, I've got the easiest cross in the world right here, um, which is just going to be uh, D2 R Prime F. From there, I'm going to spot this red and blue pair, uh, not nicely lined up, but manageable. Uh, I'm going to want to put those into the back right corner. That's what you So we're going to go R, U prime, R prime, a U3. Don't ask me why it's a U3. Uh, well, you should just be a U, but heck, that's what I was doing. And then R prime, U prime, R. Next up, I've got this blue and orange pair sitting nicely uh, in my line of sight. So I'm going to want to put those into the back left corner. So a U, just to maneuver them into my left hand, but a Y move. Uh, so, sorry, a Y move maneuvers them into my left hand. Yeah. L, U prime, L prime. And then a sneaky Y whilst the recap happens so I can insert with L, U, L prime. Like I say, into the back left. Now, my visual structure is, is I'm drawn to white at this point in time because I know that's what I'm doing. I'm doing corners. So I've immediately spotted that corner in the, in the upper left corner, but I'm not sure what the colours are around it, but I can see all of a green and orange edge. So I'm gonna uh, just throw in um, a U to U2, sorry, to bring that corner into position so I can see it. And I'm gonna discover that it's actually the red and green corner, which happily is now sitting above the uh, red and green edge. Uh, so I'm gonna then put the red and green edge in with the, uh, take the edge out with an R, sorry, U sexy move, and then R into R prime to set up a three move insert with R prime R. So I know I'm onto my last pair at this point. I know it's going to be green and orange. I know that it's there in that back left corner. I know that's going to be the corner. So uh, U2 can bring it around to the front for a nice, uh, re easy Rido tiger insert with R prime U2 R, U2 R prime U R. Here you can see I've got one of the uh, two arch cases. Now I tilt up rather than U move to check the, uh, the, the back edge of the cube. Uh, because if it was the single dot rather than the bar of three at the back there, uh, it's already in position for me to do the algorithm for that case, which I, I should like that algorithm. Sadly, it's the, uh, the bar of three, which means we're gonna have to put in a U move uh, so and then actually uh, slot it into some order, which is R prime, U prime. R prime F, R, F prime U, R, and that then surprises us with the PLL skip. I will point out uh, at this point in time, instead of doing that green and red pair, uh, I could have uh, put the green and orange pair in. That would have been a U, R prime, U prime, R, U2, R prime, U, R. Uh, but that would have then set up the green and red pair in a position that I hate doing. Uh, and the result of which I would have gotten the uh, OLL case uh, 42, and uh, then a, a UB perm for the PLL. So yes, I got lucky doing the uh, green and red pair as opposed to the green and orange.